So now that the Xbox headset is here, it's okay, but there are some shortcomings about it that will still make you want to go with some third party options. So today we're going to compare Xbox's own headsets to both the Razer Cairo Pros and the Steel Series Arctis One. So whether you like to play a lot of open world games or if you're a competitive FPS player, then one of these will might suit your play style better. Regarding pricing, both the Arctis Ones and Xbox own headset retail for $100, whereas the Cairo Pros retail for $150. Now, there is a non-pro version of the Kairos that retail for $100, but they don't have Bluetooth, they have a slightly shorter battery life, and worst of all, they don't have RGB. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these headsets up, they'll be linked down below. Now, first let's talk about build quality. Without a doubt, the Cairo Pros have the best build quality here. They have the sturdiest textured plastic here, their ear cups swivel the smoothest here, this headband has the most tactile feedback here, and personally, I really like the look of this exposed stainless steel, and in general, this headset just feels the sturdiest here when they're in your hands. Now, Xbox headset also has decent build quality, and it also feels fairly decent in your hands, but this headset just doesn't feel as sturdy and premium. But then there's the Arctis One. Even though this headset build quality is fine, it does feel very flimsy when compared to these other two headsets. But now let's talk about fit. Personally, Xbox headset is my least favorite fitting headset here for a few reasons. For starters, this headset is a little on the smaller side. Personally, I gotta extend this headband all the way out, so I fear that if you have a larger head, then this headset will might not fit you. So for that reason, I gotta say this headset is not big head approved. Whereas these other two headsets are big head approved because their headbands extend way more than Xbox's headband. But then, there's also the fact that the ear cups on Xbox's headsets can only pivot up and down a little bit, so they don't rest as naturally on your head, because these ear cups do like to put a little more pressure on the front of my ears than on the back. Whereas, since the ear cups on these other two headsets have way more range of motion, they rest much naturally on your head. But then, there's also the fact that Xbox's headset is using leatherette on both its headband and ear pads. Now, don't get me wrong, this leatherette feels good and these ear cups should have no problem accommodating most ear types because they're super spacious. But these leatherette ear pads do like to collect significantly more heat than the fabric ear pads found on both the Kairos and Arctis ones, which does matter for those long gaming sessions. But overall, the Arctis ones are my favorite fitting headset here because they're the latest weighing in at 263 grams. So with the Arctis ones, you can easily forget that you're gaming with them because they're so lightweight, their ear pads are super breathable, and they're big and approved. Now personally, I do feel the Kyra Pros fit better than Xbox's headset because they rest more naturally on your head and their ear pads are way more breathable. But this headset is on the heavier side weighing in at 330 grams. So you don't really forget that you're wearing this headset. And for comparison's sake, Xbox's headset weighs in at 312 grams, which is a little better than the Kyra Pros, but you also don't forget that you're wearing this headset like you do when you wear the Arctis Ones. But now let's talk about tech specs. Both Xbox's headset and the Kyra Pros charge via a USB-C port, whereas the Arctis Ones charge via a micro-USB port. So, if you're using an Xbox series, then either the Xbox headset or the Kyra Pros are more convenient to use because you can charge your headset and your controller with the same cable. Whereas if you go with the Arctis Ones, then they aren't as convenient because you're going to have to use two separate cables to charge your headset and your controller. But if you're using an Xbox One, then all of this gets reversed. The Arctis Ones are the more convenient ones because Xbox One controllers still charge via a micro USB port. Now, when it comes to battery life, Xbox's headset has an advertised battery life of 15 hours, and so do the Kyra Pros. But that's with their RGB turned on. With the RGB turned off, this headset has an advertised battery life of 20 hours. So, I don't know about you, but I would much rather have a longer battery life than have my Razer logo light up. Unless, let's say, you're a streamer. But then, there are the Arctis Ones, which also have an advertised battery life of 20 hours. 
But now let's talk about connectivity because there is a lot of nuance here. Now, for the most part, Xbox's headset and the Cairo Pros are pretty much the same. Both of these headsets connect directly to your Xbox without the need of an extra transmitter, and they both work with either the Xbox Series or the Xbox One. And from a performance standpoint, I have no complaints. When you power on these headsets, they also power on your Xbox. They always just connect. Latency isn't an issue and they never cut out. But more importantly, both of these headsets have Bluetooth, so you can connect them to your phone. So you can play a game and listen to a podcast at the same time, which could be a huge deal for someone that likes to play a lot of open world games. Or if you want to, you can always just use either of these two headsets as a normal pair of headphones and use them to listen to music or to watch a movie with. The only thing about Xbox's headset is that, first off, you can't remove this boom microphone like you can with both the Cairo Pros and Arctis Ones. And you also can't control your music playback with the Xbox headset because it doesn't have a multi-purpose button. So if you do decide to use this headset as a normal pair of headphones, there are some very weird drawbacks to keep in mind. But then there are the Arctis Ones. Now, just like these other two headsets, the Arctis Ones works with either the Xbox Series or Xbox One. But you do got to plug in this transmitter. But unlike these other two headsets, you can use the Arctis One with more than just your Xbox by just plugging in this transmitter either into your PlayStation, Switch, or computer and get playing in no time. But unfortunately, the Arctis Ones don't have Bluetooth, so you can't use them to play a game and listen to something else at the same time. Now, you can plug in their transmitter into your phone if it has a USB-C port, but I just think that's an accident waiting to happen. So overall, with the Arctis Ones, you can use them with multiple consoles, but if you're someone that likes to play a lot of open world games, then you might want to look at these other two headsets. But something the Arctis Ones has that these other two headsets don't is an audio jack, which I feel is a very big deal. Because if this headset were to die on you in the middle of a game, a ranked game nonetheless, you could at least rush and plug them into your Xbox controller and finish up your game. Whereas with these other two headsets, if they were to die on you, you're going to have to charge them back up. So personally, I feel that as long as your Xbox controller or even PlayStation controller has an audio jack, so should your headset so that you can use a wired connection either when you have to or when you want to because you never know. So overall, the Arctis Ones have the most robust connectivity here because you can use them with multiple consoles and they even have that audio jack. Whereas the Cairo Pros and Xbox headset allow you to play a game and listen to something else at the same time, but they're mainly meant to be used with an Xbox. But now let's talk about sound. For starters, all three of these headsets have customizable EQs, which is great. However, if you want to adjust the EQ on the Arctis Ones, you gotta do so from your computer. So dialing the EQ on this headset does require a little bit more extra effort because you gotta move your transmitter from your Xbox to your computer and back. It's not a huge deal, but I thought I'd point it out because with these other two headsets, you can adjust their EQ directly from your Xbox. Now, from a performance standpoint, all of these headsets get more than loud enough and distortion isn't a problem. However, Xbox's headset does have the most head rattling bass here, which does add an extra level of immersiveness when you're playing your games. But for the most part, if you're somebody that likes to play a lot of open world games, then any of these headsets are going to be perfectly fine. However, if you're a competitive FPS player, personally, I highly recommend the Arctis Ones because they have dynamic range compression and you can also adjust how much compression you want. Now, what dynamic compression does is that it lowers the volume of louder sounds and it raises the volume of quieter sounds. Meaning that if you're playing some shooter, personally, I like playing a lot of Apex, so I like using my headsets at a higher volume so that I can listen for footsteps and nuanced sounds so that I can find my targets and know what they're doing. Either if I start shooting or get caught in a gunfight, I don't got to worry about going death from those gunshots because the dynamic range compression will lower the volume of those gunshots, which is great. 
Whereas since these other two headsets don't have dynamic range compression, if you're using them at a higher volume and you get caught in a gunfight, then you are going to go death from those gunshots because they can get very ear piercing. So you're going to have to use these headsets at a lower volume. But if you lower the volume too much, then it does get harder to listen for those footsteps. So overall, all of these headsets sound fine. But if you are looking for the headset here with the most amount of head rattling bass so that you can feel more immersed in your game, then you might want to go with the Xbox headset. But if you're a very competitive FPS player, then you will do want to go with the Arctis Ones because they have that dynamic range compression. But now let's talk about the microphones on these headsets. The Razer Kyra Pros do have the most natural sounding microphone here. Whereas Xbox's headset also sounds fairly natural, but it doesn't sound as clear. But then there are the Arctis Ones, whose microphone sounds very artificial and amplified. But I kind of prefer the artificial nature of this microphone, because I feel that it makes it easier to hear your voice over your game's audio. But more importantly, the Arctis Ones does do the best job of blocking out ambient noise here. Because if I were to just stay quiet, yeah, you are going to hear some ambient noise, but not as much as the Kairos. Whereas with the Kairos, they don't block out as much noise as the Arctis ones. So I feel that if you're playing on a hot summer night with the AC running, then you might be a bit of a distraction to your teammates. Now, Xbox's headset also doesn't block out too much ambient noise, but it does have auto muting. So when you're done talking, the mic will automatically mute itself. So at least you won't be a constant distraction to your teammates when you're at least not talking if you're playing in a noisier environment. So with all that being said, personally for me, the SteelSeries Arctis Ones are still my go-to gaming headset because as a competitive FPS player, I really like having that dynamic range compression because it does give you a slight advantage. But dynamic range compression aside, I really like that you can use the Arctis Ones with more than just an Xbox. They're super lightweight and comfortable and they also have that audio jack either for those times that this headset will might die on you mid-game or you just don't have time to charge them up. However, if you're someone that likes to play a lot of open world games, then you might want to go with either the Kyra Pros or Xbox's headset because they can be connected to your phone so you can play a game and listen to a podcast at the same time. And if you really want to get immersed in your game, then you might want to go with Xbox's headset because it does have the most head rattling bass here. But personally, when it comes to choosing between Xbox's headset and the Kyra Pros, I am leaning more towards the Kyra Pros because of their more natural feeling fit, because of their swiveling ear cups and more breathable fabric ear pads. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick another products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below. And you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.